Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the new Nomad Cosmetics launch, their Paradise Inspired Palette. If you're interested in seeing some swatches, some information on the palette, and a couple looks for inspiration, just keep watching. Hey guys, okay, thank you so much for clicking on my video. Like I said in the intro, today we're looking at the newest Nomad Cosmetics launch. It's so pretty, you guys. It's the new Paradise Islands launch. Look at how gorgeous that is. Ugh. I just think when it comes to packaging, to aesthetic, to everything, they just always truly, truly capture not only the Nomad spirit of the brand, but also the location that they have been inspired by for the next color story. So I'm just really, really excited. This palette retails for $44 and it's being launched on April 5th. Now this palette, check out this color story, you guys. It is absolutely stunning. It consists of nine mattes and nine shimmers. We might even find some duo crumbs there, but I didn't want to swatch it before I showed you up close. Look at those details on each shadow. It is just so gorgeous, you guys. Makeup is so fun. And then when you see brands go the extra little bit and include details like this, it just makes it so much better. I wanted to show you a close up of that before I started swatching. I'm kind of sad to see these go, but I'm excited to try the palettes. Okay, so I thought about doing live swatches on camera, but there was just so many shades. There's 18 shades total that I thought that it'd be better if you guys could see them all here in a steady fashion. Look at how beautiful these shades are, you guys. So there's like a red, pinky, orange row. There's the green row, and then at the bottom we have the purples. Look how pretty, how tropical, how nice that look. There's two causes for this palette that they will be contributing to, and it's Te Mana O Te Moana and Coral Gardeners Adopt a Coral Foundation. Gorgeous, gorgeous color story. Okay, those swatches are incredible. They're so pretty. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I feel a little intimidated um, just because there's no neutrals to kind of start the look off with and, you know... I don't know, Nomad Cosmetics, all of the indie brands, they always have like the best creators on their Instagram page with like really bold, colorful looks. And that's just kind of not me, but I love the colors. So I'm gonna try to do my best. I'm not gonna try to do the most with all the shades. I'm just gonna go with what feels natural to me. And I hope that you enjoy the looks for a more, I guess a more realistic way to wear these colors. But um, it's the weekend, we can play, we can do whatever we wanna do here. So, okay guys, executive decision change here. After swatching this palette, <sighs> I have to do it, I have to do it. And I know some of you guys are gonna be screaming through the screen and saying, no, don't do it, Yadi, don't do it. Hey, listen, there's nothing that I won't do for you guys, okay, in the name of beauty. So today, I think what we're gonna do, these shades are just too beautiful. We're gonna do lid swatches. I know, I know, my lids are gonna be screaming for the next foreseeable future, but it's okay, because I want you guys to see the real pigment, the real true tone of each of these shades. They're so beautiful. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so these two shades are pretty light. Um, they're gonna serve mostly as like inner corner highlight shades or toppers, but like, do you see the shift? I think you can kind of see the shift on this pink one. It's so pretty. This one is like one of those indie brand shades that they look like nothing really in the pan. They look almost like a white shimmer, but then it just really has a nice little flip. I am really regretful that the camera's not picking up on it, but it has like a very, pretty lavender flip. Let me see if I can swatch it up close and show you guys because it looks almost like a very light, light pink in the pan. That's what it looks like on the finger. And then swatched, that's what you get. It's 
very hard to see, but you see that little flip right there? It really is a beautiful shade and one that on top of other shades or colors will look really pretty. So there are the first two shades. Okay, the next two shades, we are gonna be looking at sky and moon. These two light shades right here, like peachy shimmery shades, so pretty. Ooh, this shade Moon is so beautiful. This one, um, Sky, it almost doesn't show on my skin. So I could see using that for like the brow bone or the inner corner highlight, but this one is so, so cute. Ooh, I wanna use this one. Moon. It's just, it's like a satiny color, but it does have like a little flip, you see that? It's really, really good. Okay, we're gonna finish up the row and we're gonna work on these two at the end here. So, so beautiful. The shades are Mana and Murea, Murea, Murea. Not sure how you say that, but I'm using my refer number two. It's a packing brush and the pigments are really good. Ooh. This one is a little powdery, so I would recommend that when you get it on your brush, just tap and it melds onto the skin very nicely, as you can see. Wow, that's a good shade. So it's powdery in the pan, but then when I start tapping onto my skin, I don't have any fallout right now, but I'll let you guys know if I do see it with any of the shades. All right, and then we're gonna go into Maria, which is a shimmery pink, almost like a fuchsia. So gorgeous. So pretty. Ooh, this one on its own with like an eyeliner, that's gorgeous. I really like this one. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, the next two shades, we're gonna get into the green row. We're gonna do the shade Fish and the shade Tiki. Fish and Tiki. Going in with a refer number 28 on this one. Ooh, this one's punchy. So it looks lime green in the pan, but it kind of comes off like more of a yellow outside of the pan on the lid. Very creamy, really nice, really nice shimmer. What I'm noticing about the shimmers is I've been packing them on because that's usually what I do with a shimmer. But if you try to like blend them out, they blend out very, very nicely. Really nice. Mm, I like the shade. Shade Tiki. Again, I'm gonna just tap it on. That is so nice. It's so mossy. I love it. Oh my God. I love it, love it, love it. Very mossy. This feels different than the other mattes. It's not as powdery. Kind of went on the skin like satin. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. That's a dope color. I really like it. Do you see why lid swatches are so important? Because sometimes you look at the swatches and you're like, what am I gonna do with that? Let me see exactly what the color looks like on my lid. This is why we find shades like this. Okay, now we're gonna go into the shades Turtle and Lizard, I believe I got the, yeah, Turtle and Lizard. You already know how I feel about green eyeshadows, so this is probably the first ones that my eyes quickly went to. So let's try it out. Turtle is a shimmery green. Let's just pop it on the lid, ooh. Yes, that's gorgeous. Mmm, this is good. This mat also feels like tiki, like the mossy green we just swatched. It's very thin, like very finely milled. Some of the other mattes are a little bit thicker, more powdery. This one's very finely milled. 
And honestly, you guys, it's even like blurring on my lids. Cause you know, I have folds in my eyes. I have always had somewhat of hooded eyes, but I'm getting older. They're a little bit thinner and crepier. So I have folds, but this is almost like blurring on my, my eyelid. Hmm. I wonder if she changed her formula on the mats. I like it. I really like it. <laughs> okay, and now we have the last two in this row, which are going to be Shark and Stingray here. This one's so cute. I love it. Just from first swatch, I can tell I really like it. This is Shark. This is the Shimmer. I don't feel like, oh, excuse me, never mind. I was, I was gonna just say, I was like, I think I might need my finger for this one. I mean, I'll try it, but no, sir. Excuse me, this shade works all on its own. Ooh, love it. Wow. I see that? Mm. I really, really like it. All right. And let's try Stingray. Very punchy with the pigment. Again, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna have to ask Felicia, the owner of Nomad, if she changed this formula, but these mats are bomb, you guys. Really, really good. I am loving them. This is really cute. This matches my shirt, so maybe I'll do a look with these colors you know what I'm seeing and this might be just like me not being super creative with color I'm seeing that a lot of these well it looks like most of the mats have corresponding shimmers and all I keep thinking is like let's think about it if you're out on vacation this is very tropical vibey you know if you're out on vacation you have this palette with you you want to go as simple as possible like what I would automatically do is I would Grab the mat, set it down, and then throw the shimmer over it. You know, like, let's try it right now. I'll do it with my finger. But it's like, that's what I would do if I was out and about, you know? Yep. That looks gorgeous. Look at that. Just kind of made the look come together. Throw some lashes or some eyeliner, and you're good to go. That's so pretty. You know what I mean? I really like that. And that's what I'm thinking. Like when I see the mats with the shimmers, it's like they all kind of go together. Okay, let's go ahead to the last and final row and then we'll put together a look. Okay guys, let's go ahead and swatch the last row in this palette. It's actually been a day now. Um, I got caught up doing some stuff yesterday um, around the house, but let's go ahead and do the lid swatches for the last row. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go into Huahin, Hua, Hua Huahin, Hua and Ocean. That's what those look like there. Huahin or Huahin and Ocean. There's the first one. It's definitely very, very pretty, very, very blue. It's like a real, true ocean blue. Um, I do really, really like it. It will be good for deepening out the outer V, creating some blue looks, love it. For this shimmer, I think I'm gonna use my finger, so let's go ahead and just go on into it. It's one of those that come off as looking a little bit chalky, I guess is the word but once they're melted on the eyelid it looks really pretty so oh yeah let's try that instantly so beautiful look at that this is a gorgeous blue and again this is why i like doing lid swatches sometimes like when i can't wrap my head around the color story i'm like let's start with lid swatches and see what we're working with so there you go. So beautiful. I love it. Next, we're almost done here, guys. We're gonna be working on lid swatches for dolphin and whale. 
dolphin and whale this is that shimmer very similar to the first one that we did that looks very very light in the camera but just kind of has it's almost like a good topper shade because there's a little duo flip to it so i'll do that one with my finger again whoa this one is gorgeous Woo! do you see the opacity in this wow <laughs> this one's intense wow that is an intense color you are going to want to tap the pigments and i guess this is the the one question i had is when i was trying to blend it almost seemed like the shadow was moving a little bit i did a little bit of research and these are pressed pigments so sometimes they're not really the best for blending out i'll try it again when i do my final look but when you press, everything is so opaque, it stays in place, and it's just really, really beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go into Whale. It's like a nice icy baby cotton candy blue. Do you see the flip there? I don't know if you're seeing it, but it's a really good flip. I really like this shade. This would be so pretty over like a black base, I think. It would really transform the color it's really really nice it looks just icy blue there the dual flip i feel like you can't really see that but there's a little bit of lavender in here white luminosity a little bit of gold yeah it looks like one of those fairy colors i really really like it all right and although this palette screams spring the two prettiest colors that remind me of spring are the last two here we have seashell and tahiti I actually did a look with these two yesterday. It was a very simple, basic look, but they're so pretty, so let me show them to you. We're going in with the matte with the seashell first. It's very soft and lilac-y, but like in person, the pigment is just enough to look good against my medium skin tone. I think that if you wanted it to pop a little bit more, going in with like a very light base, like Pia Louise has those colored bases, that would be good. But it's such a pretty, pretty color. So soft and could make some really nice spring looks. And then I'm gonna go in with my finger to the shade Tahiti. This one is really, really nice. I don't think, I really don't think I have another purple shimmer like this. Very exciting. There it is. You see, there's a little bit of a flip. Do you see that? So cute. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. I just wanted to see, I wanted to show you guys what the lid swatches would look like. I'm gonna take this off and then put together a look. One thing that I wanna say is that I've learned through swatching them all individually is that the shimmers are gonna do best with your finger. I would suggest like, not a glitter glue but maybe like i want to try it with my artistry wand and see what happens i don't know just to give it a little bit more of a tacky base than what i did but again the best way to kind of just melt those onto the lids is going to be with your finger the mattes are pressed pigments so kind of a tapping motion with the brush will work best but i'm going to try a little bit of blending as well when i put together my second look we'll go ahead and go into that now and um, i might put music on it or i might just talk through it we'll see but um yeah, let's go ahead and get into that and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so I've been sitting here for a minute just trying to decide. I mean, this color story, like I said, has kind of thrown me off my game a little bit. Um, and I think I know what I'm going to do. So let's see if it works. We're going to go ahead and uh, mix the greens and the oranges together on this look. We're going to start with the shade Lizard. And I'm going to take my refer number 28. It's like a packing brush, but like a little bit thinner and smaller to be a little more targeted with where I'm placing the shade. I'm a little nervous, but it's just makeup and it's just color. It'll come out pretty, I'm sure. So I'm going to very carefully place it here. 
on the low on the last one third of the eyelid here going in just a little tiny bit at the top then I'm going to take the matte shade Tiki this lime green shade here um, and see if we can blend out the green a little bit so that we don't have harsh lines so I'm going on my Angie 501 from the BK Beauty collab just very lightly tapping and then blending a little bit ooh I kind of like the the grunginess that we got from doing that okay I'm taking the lime green in just a little bit I'm putting just a little bit more green down here to really make it like a V shaped like a to make it like a V shape that's what complements my eye shape the most so that's what I want to do now we're gonna cut the lid a little bit um, just to kind of clean it up mostly right here where the green is because I want to go in with a lighter shimmer okay that looks pretty good I'm gonna take a little pencil brush this is the 207 by BK Beauty and I'm gonna go back into the dark green just to make sure that it is really deep right here at the end I don't want it to move too much I want that to be deep and deeply set in this little pocket I have here in my eye. I'm really liking these two greens together, so I don't want to ruin it. So I think I'm going to go in with my uh, Shimmer Fish. You guys know that I just can't resist a green look. So I'm going to go in with my Shimmer Fish and I'm going to do that in the middle of the lid there, the center. Mm, so good I'll go back and I'll deepen out the outer because that shimmer is strong so it covered up some of the green but that's okay and then I'm gonna go into um, I think I'm gonna go into the shade whale this one here and I'm gonna use that in my inner corner or the inner one-third of the look Just going over the center now with that tiki or fish shade. I'm grabbing a little bit more of the green here and I'm just gonna make sure that it looks deep enough. It looks kind of crazy, but I'm gonna go off camera, do the rest of my makeup, put uh, mascara, maybe some lashes, and I'll be right back. All right guys, so here is the final look. Let me bring you in a little close so you can see what's going on. All right, guys, so let's talk a little bit about what I found. So I have to be, first of all, I love, love, love how this look turned out. I think it looks really, really good. And like green eyeshadow is just my jam. Like I feel, I feel pretty and I feel confident and I love it. I love it so, so much. Now I'm going to be honest about in general what my thoughts are, are on the launch and everything else. Number one, I always love that Nomad Cosmetics finds a cause to donate some of the proceeds of the sales to, um, depending on where in the world they've been. Um, so I always think that that's just, it feels good to buy from them because of that, okay? So number one. Number two, the packaging just drew me in instantly. Like anytime I see water, green, turtles, like, I'm a Pisces, anything tropical just draws me right in and I was so excited, I thought it was so beautiful, beautiful. But they're always so good with their packaging. I mean, they'll always send like a little postcard as if they were sending you a postcard from their uh, travels. And I just love this so, so much. Then I opened up the palette and I was like, oh, that is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at how beautiful that is. You know, I can't wait to dig my fingers into this and just start playing with it. Then when I started trying to put looks together in my head, I felt a little overwhelmed by the color story. I just 
didn't have like my little crutches would be which would be like my black shadow or my neutral shadows that I could use for transition that sort of thing and even though I love love color like sometimes I just don't know what to do with it you know I'm not as artistic or as creative as other people that you see on their Instagram pages and so I was a little lost which is why I resorted to doing lid swatches because that's the best way that I could think to showcase the palette and still show how pretty it was even though I was a little lost as to what to do with it. That's when you saw my purple look where I was like, oh, well, this is actually quite pretty if you just go with the matte look and then top it with the corresponding shimmer. Like that's an easy way that a color lover like myself can get around this color story. Um, and then today, um, you know, that was yesterday when I was filming that. Today I finished off the last, um, the last row to the colors here. And then I was like, I'm just gonna go for it. Like, I'm just gonna go with what I'm drawn to. I think that a lot of people that watch me on my channel know that I love green eyeshadow so much. And like, this feels like my comfort zone. This feels like what I love. And like any palette that you pick up, you're gonna wanna love the looks that you create. And so I am really, really happy with how this turned out. Um, I feel like it was a very beautiful, like powerful colorful look but it was still kind of soft and that's what the shimmers gave me especially this blue inner corner here and I just like it so much I then was like hmm this is a really bold look like let's throw a little bit of lashes on there so then I got really excited about it I will tell you that for my lower lash line I didn't want to do green and so I was on Marco Polo with my friends and I was like help me like what do I do with the lower lash line like I want it to be pretty and they said purple and I was like well Dr. Ash and her makeup was like purple girl purple and I was like yeah yeah that looks fire so um what I did is I went in with the matte here and then I topped the matte with the purple shimmer and I just like um how pretty it came out and it wasn't like too green everywhere it just gave enough of a smoke underneath I just think it looked really really pretty let me zoom you in one more time so that's what it looks like. Do you see what I mean? Like it just looks pretty. It just looks like just a little bit of color under there. And I think it came out really, really nice. And look at my lids, you guys. Like you guys saw when I was doing the lid swatches, like I have like fold and crepe, a little bit of crepiness in my lids because I'm getting older and that's fine. That's just what happens. But I feel like the powders, and I said this about the mats yesterday, like, I don't know, like they feel they feel a little blurring on the skin, on the eyelids. They feel really, really nice. And I really appreciate that, especially because I'm 40, honey. Like, it's a little soft up there. It's a little soft. <laughs> Final thoughts. I believe that this palette is so, so beautiful. I think that it is to play with. Um, I think it is... Um, the shimmers are not too shimmery to where like they're gonna you're gonna get glitter fallout everywhere. They meld onto the skin very nicely. The satins like they're very finely milled. They're a little bit of bl they're blurring. They're perfecting on your eyelids. And this is something that I also saw with the new Adept palette. So I just wanted to point that out because that is something that that me as a forty something year old really does appreciate. And I think that I could always use all the help I can get on my lids. Um, this is a palette to play with to have fun with. I also believe that. That this could be if you're kind of feeling a little worried like are you gonna make it work you know like this could be a really beautiful companion palette but it's the the perfect little pops of color for spring that we could totally use um, I want to do more looks with like the oranges and the the pink shimmers up here like for Instagram because I just think like they're so beautiful as well but for today for this video I really like this one last thing that I wanted to mention is, you know, in the video, I actually show you that I do a cut crease um, on this eye as the one I was working with. Well, I did this one without the cut crease and it was still just as impactful and I think it looks exactly the same. That's really amazing. Like the shimmers are very opaque and so I wanted to share that because I forgot. I forgot to do the cut crease and I was doing something else and just totally forgot. So, um, yeah, you can get this without trying to get all crazy and fancy like I was with a cut crease. So anyway, congratulations to Nomad Cosmetics again on such a beautiful launch. I just really love that everything's um, kind of attached to their travels. If you don't follow them on Instagram, make sure and do so. For this launch, they actually had Baby Nomad doing some of the campaign shots. <laughs> when they were on location, they had their baby holding the palette up and he is a 
adorable like the perfect little mix of Felicia and Auntie and so anyway just wanted to say that so don't forget to subscribe if you like colorful makeup if you like makeup in general we talk a lot about foundations here um, we're gonna get our makeup and chill live stream I know I keep saying that but it really is being kicked up um, soon we might have a really big launch and really big brand to come and cover that with us soon so I can't say too much yet until we secure it but um, Cross your fingers for me, even though you don't know what I'm talking about, because it it should be really, really good. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Make sure and subscribe. Like this video. It's a free way to help your girl. And if you do decide to pick up this palette um, when it launches, don't forget to use code Yachty. That saves you 10%. Um, I don't make a commission or anything, but it's just a savings to you. So I wanted to mention that. So have a good day, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.